Janice, you're a big fan of having sex even when you're married. Let's move out of the dating realm and into the married realm. Why is that important? It's extremely important to have sex in a marriage. I think when people get married, I don't think when people move in together, I think when people get married for some reason, the old adage is, is that sex stops. And that's not a good thing. Why should it stop? You love this person, you're attracted to each other, you have your sexual needs, he has se his sexual needs, so you really have to continue to have sex. I talk to a lot of women in their 50s and 60s who have lost their spark and know that they want to get it back. But what I find is that most women, a lot of women get really stuck in their heads and actually their bodies are turned on and they do have desire, but they have cut themselves off from that completely. Why? For comfort reasons, they don't feel good enough, they don't feel like they're attractive, they put on some weight, um, they don't feel connected to their partners anymore because they've stopped telling each other the truth. Um, they have desire for other people outside of the marriage. They don't want to talk about that. And it's just easier for them to cut it off. And then life becomes a little bit grayed out. Like the color is lost from their life. But lives. I really want to get this message across. And Janice, I'm going to get to you in a second. But where are you cutting off your power supply by depriving yourself of that, regardless of your age? When you're turned on, when you are feeling sexy and hot, like everything in your life is in flow. That is the source of your power. It is the same source. Of, that's where your creativity comes from. Don't you feel that they should sort of get back their mojo? Because sex is very healthy. It's very good for you. Not only does it burn calories, but it is. It's great for your skin. It's great for your metabolism. It's Absolutely. awesome. So why don't these women, like, try and get it back? Oh, you get set in your ways in your marriage, and you get set in your ways in a, in a relationship. You get comfortable. You're right. You might put on weight. You don't feel great about yourself. You just figure whatever, you know? You're not having kids. Absolutely. That's not healthy. And that's those are the women I work with, the people who want their spark up, the women who don't feel like they're having a connection and intimacy the 20s and their 30s. They're not having that. But a lot of women in their 40s, 50s, and 60s who really know that it's an important aspect of their lives and they have cut themselves off and they don't know how to get back into it. How often do you think that married couples should have sex? As often as they want. <laughs> well, I agree with that statement. But what do you feel in your expertise if somebody has a happy marriage and they still have chemistry and they're attracted to each other as often as they want? For the most part, men are going to probably want to have sex more than women. It depends. They say, I don't think that's necessarily true. I think women want sex just as much as men do. Do you think that, that, is, that there are age differences with that? Yes. I think when you're 40, you're like an 18-year-old guy. Absolutely. <laughs> like the tables have turned. When I speak to women friends of mine that are married, it completely blows me away when I hear that they haven't had sex in four months, six months, ten months. They have zero desire. So everybody's an individual. Don't you think that if it works for them and they're not complaining about it, I don't think there should be any added pressure that, oh, my God, you must do it twice a week or whatever. I think that Lydia would wager that if you actually stepped into that power and went there, you might be surprised what happens. I remember you saying that. Yes, I mean, it definitely is connected to power, but I mean, sex is a healthy thing to do. I mean, it's good for your immune system, it's good for your skin, I mean, it's good for your body, period. So you should, you know, want to have it, you which, know? No, and, which is fine, but I'm just saying that if a couple figured out that their rhythm is, let's just say, once a month. Once to be roommates? They're roommates. I know, but if that's what they're comfortable with, then that's what they're comfortable with. No, that's Why fine should there be any external know. pressure on, of, okay, this is normal, you have to be normal, you should be able to do what I, you I want think, to do. I think, I think that is normal. I think not having sex is normal. I, you know what I think it now. is also? I think it's that people, common. I think that people get very lazy, very comfortable with yes, themselves. Yeah. I hate to say it, but women let themselves go. True. Well, you know what? Are yeah. they really happy?